Well, the state's getting its first look at the military's cleanup plan for the huge fuel spill at Red Hill. And new tonight, the Navy just released a preliminary response plan. KITV Force Catherine Cruz is here with more all new at 6. Well, concern over the potential threat to our drinking water that the massive underground fuel storage tank poses is growing. City and state officials are hoping to brief our congressional delegation about the seriousness of the situation. Protecting our drinking water is quickly becoming a top priority for lawmakers after an estimated 27,000 gallons of fuel leaked out at Red Hill. The source of our drinking water lies just 100 feet below the underground fuel tanks. That cannot be overstated enough. So it's our job to make sure that this is communicated uh, as we go through the uh, appropriations process to make sure that people understand the seriousness of what's occurring here. Gabbard is fast becoming familiar with protecting the water supply. Her district already includes water treatment plants where pesticide residue from old pineapple plantations has to be filtered out of the groundwater. This granular activated carbon plant located in central Oahu cost almost $5 million to build. We have them here in Mililani, here in Waipahu. We have facilities in Kunia. We also have facilities in Haleiwa and Wailua. If at some point the military's fuel reaches the Halava shaft, which supplies water to homes from Wanalua to Hawaii Kai, the city could be forced to build a facility two and a half times bigger than this one. We cannot replace Halava shaft in today's dollars. It would be so expensive to try to replace it. So to preserve it and to protect it is paramount for us. The thing about this system is that you've got to replace the carbon, and the Board of Water Supplies tab to do that is more than $2 million a year. That cost for filters at all the treatment plants is an added cost to consumers on their monthly bills. The military has been considering the need to build something similar for its Pearl Harbor well, which provides water for military residents. The Navy is also currently in the process of evaluating just how many additional monitoring wells it may need to develop and where they should go. Officials hope to impress on Hawaii's congressional delegation that funding necessary to maintain Red Hill, which fuels the entire Pacific fleet, should also include protecting the island's aquifer. Let that urgency and that priority be known as we look at the overall uh, picture of, of national security and defense. And Navy contractors have still not been able to get in to inspect that leaky tank, even though that spill happened two months ago. We're told now that could happen at the end of next month. Back to you.